Ciao, Dobro Lovers, welcome to my 10th video lesson. Today I want to talk about Mike Aldridge. And uh, he's, a, he's a giant, so I think for this 10th lesson, I want to pay kind of tribute to, to him because, because you know, because he's so great. And the song that I want to do today, that is called Dobro Island, I think is a very nice and good song. This is the, you can find Dobro Highland on his CD Blues and Bluegrass, that is this one. Yeah, Mike Aldrich, Blues and Bluegrass. Amazing album, full of a wonderful song. I want to try with Dobro Highland with you, so maybe you can follow me and maybe you can try at home because it's so fun. And um, let's begin with this wonderful song. Yeah, Mike Aldrich. Okay, this song is in A, our beautiful A chord, the chord that I like so much, very full sound. I'm going to play this song, anyway, uh, I want to point out that I will play 19% as my code reach, even if I'm killing I will not play like him because it's impossible for me, but I will try to follow his melody, okay, 90%. Then maybe I will, here and there, I will put two, one, three different notes. Now I don't know when and where, because uh, this is another thing that I want to tell you. Uh, when you learn a song, try to get the mood of the song, the chords, and then even if you, even if you do a, a couple of things different, this is, will help you much that copy exactly the note that uh, the, the player is doing. Try to keep this in mind, that you can add your own taste. The important things is that you get the mood and know where to go, know the chords, and then try to do a couple of slides different, a couple of notes different. So with this also you will have more fun. So I made uh, myself a rhythm track and I am going to play it. And just after I will uh, try to explain you a couple of things.
So this more or less was Dobro Highland and Mike Aldrich. Wow, what an amazing player. So let's try and see a couple of things about this song. So it's in A, as you heard, uh, it has a kind of uh, Hawaiian mood. Looks like we are uh, on a boat behind a palm tree on the beach. And uh, the way I do it, A, and I pick the second and third, if you want also the fourth. Maybe it's better with two strings, the second and third, or the second fret, then first and second open, first and second first, first and second second fret. So. And then there is, if you want, if you're able to do the slam. So. So this is the beginning and it's not so complicated. Okay. And if you don't want to do the slant here, because sometimes it's dangerous, because we can make some strange noise, okay? It's okay if you if you go from the 9th fret to the 11 first string. Don't worry if you don't do the slant. Maybe you can do it later. I think I did it one time. One time or two, I don't know. One time I did and sometimes. So this is the beginning. Then always first and second string, seventh fret, slide to the ninth from the so from the D to the E. Then here actually you can do what you want. If you follow my Aldrich, you do something like something like that. But try to think that you are, uh, in, for some way, you are free, and you you can do what you want and give the, the song the mood that you want. So if you want to do or stay only here without the, it's okay anyway. The song the song is working anyway. Okay, don't don't be afraid or. or to to not be able to copy what the the master did because uh, is the light okay we have to follow the light between us and the light you can go like this or you can go straight okay you can choose but let's begin again <laughs> You can do one or two. It's up to you. You will have fun if you do like this, okay? Because you choose. Then you do in D and come back in A. And then repeat it again. to do it. I do it like this. I repeat again the second part that is the one who close it. Okay, I close like I'm staying in the ninth fret. I do I do I do this accent because I like it. It's like to anticipate the, the note below and then I stop it here in the second string ninth fret to do then I come back to the A okay then there is uh, this uh, little nice thing here 
from the seventh to the ninth, four string. So start here, go chromatically from the seventh to the ninth. So we have involved here the fourth string and the second, but seventh fret. Then the second string, ninth fret. There is this fast movement where you have to switch from the set ninth to the seventh. Then immediately up. This is optional because now I tell you. So I repeat. So we are fifth fifth uh, string. 7th fret here you can stop to do because this so you can do it or here or here I show you Remember always to listen to the original anyway, eh? because you you can follow him, you can follow the the player for what he have in his mind in that moment and, and uh, the way he, he plays it. Because there is this strange thing that I will show you. There is it is kind of a pose. There is this kind of stop before playing a note. It's, it's just interpretation sometimes, okay? Because you can do all in a row. Okay, this is, I think, is the more, most difficult part of the song. To, to be able to catch exactly this string Next is, we come back to the E and the D Then repeat again And here the sound changed Modulate in B, goes in B From the 6th string, 2nd fret 2nd, 3rd, 4th so you go in B and then close with this lick in E. If you want to modulate here, go chromatically with your first string, 9, 8, 7, and then repeat. Much all the song, so it's just a kind of uh, matter of uh, which mood you want to to give to the song, because uh, there is a lot of dynamics here. This is the 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 nice and the bad things about slow song with the dobro. This song is uh, it's all in these three chords: okay, A, E, and D. And the last chord that when, when it goes in B and then come back in E. Okay, as you heard maybe in my version before, I did something different, but now I don't remember. Because this is also another thing that uh, 
I want to point out or to tell you that when you play, there is something, sometimes you do something that you didn't know you could do it because you are so into the song that uh, the song takes you by the hand and make you play some sometimes really nice notes notes sometimes sometimes really bad one but uh, as i told you before for example let me remember what i did ah, at the beginning for, for example instead of doing i think i did something like Okay, I don't know why I did it, but I try with this note and, and, and I like the sound of that. So what I want to tell you, try sometime to do something different, even if you do some mistake, but try to do in other places, try to find other position and move your bar then this is, this is not, uh, it's not going to, to kill you the double, okay? It's nice. If you play a nice note, he is so happy. So, I did. Instead of... These are just things that I did that I wanted to tell you. Sometimes if you want to find something different or something that is only yours, uh, first you have to try and do some mistake. So then you will, uh, because anyway, this is A, but remember that we have another A here. So sometimes instead of doing everything here, you can hand in this high hey at the 14th fret we have okay okay this could be an ending and uh, other things uh, in the in between let's see to do a little stuff different okay just a couple of things
don't don't be afraid to do some mistakes because you have to try different things and different stuff even if, if in a song like this but it seems so simple because uh, only three four chords and um, as you notice sometimes i waited to play um, <laughs> These things, it comes, if you play a lot uh, doing the things that I told you lesson before, the fifth lesson, I think, and uh, to be in time, to keep the beat, and try to play all your stuff uh, with the metronome, okay? So then you get used to the, to the rhythm, uh, to the beat, so you can play it, have fun in between your songs, in between, uh, between the notes that you want to play. Uh, so I think that that's all for today because uh, I want to show you this song. I want to pay tribute to Mike Aldridge again. Yeah, amazing. So let's try. Let's have fun. Again, it's A. Okay, you can you can change your the timing. Okay, I hope you you get what what I want to say to you with having fun with this strange timing in between the song. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, as always leave a comment if you want, uh, subscribe and um, if you push uh, click the little bell. Uh, you get the notice when I will put a new video and uh, see you next week for uh, another lesson. I will try to find another fun stuff to do together. Okay. Also, I want to tell you, if you want to see other version, there is a, a wonderful uh, one uh, by Sullivan Meter that he, she will, she is playing uh, with um, all the other, with Jerry Douglas and Robikes for that occasion because of Mike Aldrich tribute. Dobro Island, Simon Meter, you will find this amazing video and you will hear this amazing song with all the band. Uh, okay, remember Mike Aldridge? Yeah, Dobro and Bluegrass. And see you next week. Ciao.